Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Good morning to you all. And welcome to our sixth Sunday of Easter. We hope to be in our church as soon as we see the res restrictions being relaxed. The focus of Easter time is on the resurrection of Christ. And today we continue with the farewell discourse of Christ with the promise of the Holy Spirit to be with us forever. God bless our time together and yet apart. In the name of God, whose Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John, the 14th chapter, and I'm reading from the 15th verse. Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him or knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned, I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me. But you will see me, because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. And so let us pray. God of love, God of eternal life and abundance of joy, renew your spirit of infectious love in us. In Jesus' name we pray this. Amen. In this week I was asked to visit our local hospital and on arrival, I was turned back, for they have changed their visiting hour. On my return, I was asked numerous questions about my health, screened, and the ward was found, and I was fetched. I saw the delight in the eyes of a 101-year-old lady. I visited and decided to return that first day. I was again received with much joy and appreciation. She seemed to be ready to return home this week. In the Sunday's Gospel, Jesus continues his farewell discourse in saying to us, If you love me, you will obey my commandments. When Jesus asks us to obey his commandments as a sign of our love for him, he is not asking about the Ten Commandments, which is the easy part anyway. He's saying that if we love him, we will live as he lived. Loving Jesus, as he asks us, requires us to love in such a way that others will know that the resurrection is real. That Jesus is really present and cares for us deeply. A promise and a reminder. A promise of his eternal and holy presence urging, supporting, and comforting, comforting us, no matter what. Jesus gives us the gift of his eternal love and reminds us of how love really works. While there is unconditional affection and care, there is hope that love will be returned so that we will know the fullness of love we are receiving. Jesus reminds us that love needs to be returned, not just directly, in an expression of devotedness, but also indirectly, in actions whereby we pass love on to others. St. Paul reminds us that God is not far from each one of us. For God, for in God we love, we live and move and have our being. 
we too are God's offspring. The truth about life is revealed to us by the spirit of truth that Jesus sends to us from the Father. And that truth is love. Love expressed and shown to others in the way God shows love to us. A love expressed and shown according to the word God sends to us. From the beginning and incarnate in Jesus Christ, our brother and our Lord. Let us do the simple things. Be polite, greet, say hello and be kind. Obey the social distance and hygiene rules so that we can keep others safe. And in doing so, we keep ourselves safe also. Let us show all care and respect. The simple, small things go a long way to pass on God's love to others. You are most probably wondering about this little monkey that was on the table all the time. With our grandson Oliver, whenever we face time, we start and end our time together with this toy monkey and pressing its heart. I love you! I love you! Just seeing the light in his eyes, keep on filling us with joy. And so, pass on the love. Let us pray. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so we pray the collect of today. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you joys beyond our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love for you, that loving you above all else, we may obtain your promises that exceed all we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church. God of earth and heaven, we give you thanks and praise that you listen when we call on you. Hear the prayers we pray for your people. We give you thanks and praise for the diversity and richness of human life for the creative and sustaining power of human mind and spirit. We pray for the nations as we all face the threat of the COVID-19 virus, for scientists and medical workers, and for those in the front line caring for the affected and those suffering the effects of the spread of the virus, those suffering in isolation, those working in food availability and distribution. We pray for wisdom and justice in decisions being made by those in government. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour, whom you have sent to live among us and have raised from death to life. We pray for the Church, for a spirit of repentance, of faithfulness and obedience, for power to proclaim your gospel in sacrament, deed, and word, for Philip, our Archbishop, and Clarence, our Bishop, and all clergy and their families, loving God in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise that you are the center and source of our being, the provider of all we have to share. We pray for this community, for compassion, for the, vulnerable, for the vulnerable, for acceptance for the outcast, for relationships of unselfishness, forgiveness, understanding and love. Loving God in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise throughout 
the ages you have loved your people, caring for them in times of trouble and despair. We pray for all in need, for consolation for the sad, for companionship for the lonely, for comfort for those in pain, and strength for all who care for them. We pray especially for Kathy Slade, Belinda Shannon, Sharon DeBattista, Barry Watts, Ray Daly, Val Watts, Shirley Perkins, Beres Hamlin, Joyce Bennett, Gwen Bushon, Ann Foote, Debbie Chilcott, Sally Davidson, Debbie Mayer and her family, Ella Burt, and Beryl Kirby. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise that you prepare a dwelling place for all who love you and offer your children the joys of everlasting life. We remember your servants of every age. Help us to follow the example that loving you we may set aside all that is displeasing in your eyes. Keep your commandments and grow in your ways. We remember those whose anniversary of death we remember this week. Jeffrey Levitt, Edward Scan, Jack Baker, Jean Conyu, George Badcock, Joan Gilthrow, Ernest Castles, Keith Smith, Joy Lovell, Ian Duncanson, Joseph Sherwood, John Molan. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon with all your saints, bring us home to your eternal presence, that we may live forever in you and with you. Loving God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the blessing of Australia. God bless Australia. God our people, guide our leaders, and give us peace for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God, who redeemed us through the resurrection of Christ and has brought us out of slavery into everlasting freedom, give you joy and peace in faith and bring you to your eternal inheritance. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and those you love and remember. Amen. Be blessed. Be safe. Be kind, be at peace.